Oh, I'm live and you're getting a view of my... <laughs> I didn't turn my camera around before I went live. Um, hi guys, welcome, welcome back. But you did get a view, you did get a view of the lemon tree that we, used, that we rated for today's project. So maybe that was intentional. Um, welcome you guys, welcome to our demo, today's live demo. And we are gonna be doing one of the, the most popular projects from my blog, and it's one that when I wrote my book, I was not, you know, I was asked to include it because it's such a great, engaging project that kids really, really love. And it's also been a favorite with our campers um, and our after-school students over the years. So I'm excited to bring it to you today. What we are going to be making is, we are going to be making volcanoes from lemons or if you have them, grapefruit, or if you don't have either of those, you could try oranges, you could try limes, um, you could try tangerines. Now, I want to preface this project by saying that I only want you to do this if you have access to a lot of citrus fruits or a tree. Um, I don't want you to do this project if you know, you don't have access to those things. I know food is food scarcity is something that I'm really aware of. And I really wanna make sure that when we use food in a project, we use it only because maybe we have so much of it that we wouldn't be able to really use it in its entirety. For instance, these grapefruit are grapefruit that my neighbor picked for me. Um, they have a tree and their tree is going crazy. And they gave me like a whole bag full for Easter, which I ate as many as I could. Um, but now they're starting to get a little kind of overripe. So I'm using the overripe ones that I probably wasn't going to eat anyway. And I am using some from my neighbor's lemon tree because they literally, it's full. And I've made lemonade twice this week. I use this in my cooking and there's still a lot left over. So. I just want to let you guys know, do this project if you do have the opportunity to have a whole bunch of citrus fruit, but please don't do it or save it for a time down the road if you don't, okay? All right, that's my spiel. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn my camera around and we are going to get started. While I do this, I want to remind you guys, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I um, I probably don't say that enough. I'm not, I, I know... I should, but I don't. So if you're not already a subscriber, please do go ahead and hit that like button um, or subscribe button and hit a like on the video. Also, let's, of course, I placed this in the, the image um, when I turn my camera around. I hope you guys go and uh, enter the giveaway I have with my book. So I have a giveaway right now. I mentioned it in Monday's video. Um, this is my book, Steam Play and Learn. It's a book with activities for preschool aged kids and up. It's really great if you have kids of multiple ages at home because there's a lot of activities that will appeal to young ones as well as older kids. So this is a great one for families. Um, I'm running a giveaway this week on Instagram. So head over to my Instagram feed, Babble Dabble Do. There is a post with the book image and all you need to do to enter the giveaway is to leave a comment by and tag a friend. So my publisher and I thought it'd be really nice right now for you guys to have a chance to win the book as well as gift it to somebody. Maybe think of somebody who could really use it right now. Maybe a friend who's a librarian or a teacher or somebody who's just maybe in a creative rut. Honestly, these weeks have been hard and for, for everyone. And so sometimes for me, I'm a book collector and an activity book collector in particular, and I love getting an activity book. Um, so if you know somebody like that who this would brighten their day, be sure to tag them in the post because you and your friend, if you are a winner, will get a copy. Cool. All right, let's move on. Let's do this project. So here you can already see that I've got all my fruits ready. Um, the other things we're going to need for this project are, so we're going to need some citrus fruits. We are going to need some baking soda. I already put baking soda in a little container. We're going to need some food coloring. So if you have some little um, food coloring bottles, bring those along. And we're going to need dish soap. Okay, I put mine in a squeeze bottle, but you can just grab the dish soap you have in your house. You don't need a ton of it, so hopefully that's okay with your mom or dad. You're going to need a couple of craft sticks. And I am going to need parental assistance for one part of this as we prep our citrus fruit. So we will need a knife. Lastly, grab a tray or a uh, plate because this is a messy project. 
project. This is a very messy one, you guys. It's great, but it's messy. So I personally love messy projects, but I want you to be properly prepared. All right, so what we're gonna do first is we are going to prepare our fruit. And actually, let me back up a minute. <clears throat> Why are we making a volcano out of a lemon? Why? So good question. Well, the reason is because, so if you guys have ever done baking soda and <clears throat> vinegar volcanoes, you know that the, there is a chemical reaction <coughs> between baking soda, which is a base, and vinegar, which is an acid. Well, citrus fruits also contain an acid, and it's called citric acid clearly named after citrus. Um, and so it also reacts, has a chemical reaction with baking soda. It's a little less big, but it smells good. So your trade-off of getting a less big reaction is to get a beautifully smelling reaction. I mean, this is gonna smell good. Vinegar is kind of stinky. So, um, so we're gonna experiment with that in today's project. We're gonna use the citric acid that's in the fruit juice to react and and cause and re, um, and put baking soda in to make a chemical reaction between the two. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to grab my uh, I'm going to grab two of each. There's two ways you can do this project. So I've got two grapefruit. This is a small grapefruit. It looks like a lemon, but it's a grapefruit. And I've got two lemons. Now let me get a bigger lemon. I feel like I'm going to get this one here. Let's get these two bigger ones. Um, to start off, we're going to need to sit our lemons and fruits up right. So most lemons don't come with a flat bottom. This one does actually not, it's not too bad. So parents, what you might wanna do to help prep this for your kids is to simply slice off a small part of the lemon so you have a nice flat bottom, okay? That way it's gonna sit up right, nice for your kids. It's not gonna move around. I'm gonna do that for both of these. My grapefruit are pretty flat, so I'm gonna leave them be, okay? I'm not gonna do that for them. And the next part of the parental prep part of this project is we are gonna do two things. So for two of these, we're going to cut a little bit, a little section out of the top, okay? Like so. I'm gonna do that for the lemon and I'm gonna do that for the grapefruit. And then for these, I've seen, um, we did this in our, on my blog this way, and I've seen a lot of people do this online. We're gonna cut off the top. So you can also, whoops, I didn't do a very, I don't have parallel sides here. Let me do that again. There we go. So another way you can do it is like kind of like an open-faced lemon volcano. This one, you're gonna get more of that volcanic type of reaction coming out, and this one's more of a foam on, that sits on top. But they're both fun, so if you have enough, you can do both. So I'm gonna cut the top off of this. Save all your rinds and stuff down here because we're gonna use these for juice. We also may need an extra lemon uh, for juice in a minute, which you'll see why. Okay, so now you're gonna take your craft stick and you're gonna get all the juices. You're gonna release all the juices in this lemon, okay? And well, or grapefruit, right? I'm doing the grapefruit first. Um, this is gonna get a better reaction because we're getting a lot of citric acid going here. Now, lemon juice, citric acid, grapefruit juice, when it sprays, it is an acid, so it's gonna sting a little bit. So try not to get this in your eyes. If it's really squirting out, kind of squint your eyes. If you do get it in your eye and it stings, just go wash it off with some water. It's not gonna hurt you, but it will irritate you. Okay, and then for the open face ones, I'm gonna do the kind of same thing. I'm gonna, these are the ones that really tend to squirt all over the place. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna juice it up. So I'm using this craft stick to mush this one up. All right, and it smells so good. All right, we got a lot of juices happening. Okay, now we're gonna take our dish soap and we're gonna put a little squeeze in here. Now the dish soap is not necessary, but it, it makes the reaction a little more foamy and slower. It kind of slows it down. It's one of my favorite things to add to the classic baking soda and vinegar uh, reaction because it creates a kind of a different reaction instead of this like quick quick and uh, fizzy 
uh, reaction. You get this beautiful foamy reaction that goes and goes and goes. So that's why I like to add the dish soap. Now we're gonna grab some food coloring and I'm gonna do a different color for each of my volcanoes. So go ahead and squirt some food coloring in each of these. Okay. And the next thing we're gonna do, get a craft, couple of craft sticks handy, we're gonna add our baking soda. And this is where our reaction is going to begin. Okay. So let's start with one. And when you add it in, what you wanna do is you wanna get your stick in there and you wanna start squeezing more of the juice and it, the foam will start to spill out. Ooh, it smells good too. And I'm gonna do this now for the other ones. So one thing to notice as well, if you are using different citrus fruit, take notice and see if you see a difference in the reactions depending on the fruit you're using or the ripeness. Like I've done, I did this and I noticed that my grapefruit are working really well because even though I'm not they're kind of old, they're very, and overripe, they're very juicy. So that's, and it also gets all over your hands. That's why my hands are blue. <laughs> when I started this video, I was like, oh, my hands are blue again. Look at this, oh, that looks good. So this one, you're just gonna use kind of like an open-faced uh, reaction here. And lastly, I'm gonna do the magenta one here. And it makes such beautiful foam. So we talked a little bit about the chemical reaction, which is the science in this project, but there's also a process art aspect to this project. And that comes in looking at these beautiful swirls of color that you're gonna get by the foam that is released from this chemical or created from this chemical reaction. Now, another thing we can do, so let's keep our reactions going. So to do that, what we're gonna do is, First of all, we can squeeze a little bit of more soap if we want in advance. Then we can squeeze, well, here's how I like to do it. Put a little more baking soda or just do it however you want, but you need to add more of the three elements. Then take some of those lemons that you still have some juice from and start squeezing it on there. So if you have any leftover juice, you can squeeze it on there. You can also use an extra lemon if you have it slice it or have a mom or mom or dad slice it and squeeze that on and you get continued reaction also if you add more color you can get these beautiful additional color patterns and also just generally getting your hands in there and squeezing this will also make the reaction continue to happen okay Um, a last and final way you can get this reaction going, and I, I would not normal. I don't, I'm not going to, this is something you should do at a later time. I buy these for camp. I buy lime juice and lemon juice, so when I run this at camp, usually the kids are so excited, we don't always have time to juice up a lot of lemons. So what I do is I buy this, and this expired, so I feel totally fine using it for this project, but this also will continue the reaction because you're basically adding lemon juice or lime juice in this case to your um, volcano. Let me add another color to this guy. He needs more color. Yeah, so beautiful. I, I love the way this project looks. I love the way it smells. I love the science it has to teach you guys. It's just, it's a good all around project. So you can keep going as long as you want. I'm gonna wrap it up right now. Turn my camera around. Also, I should tell you guys, please do um, wash your hands afterwards. This is, you know, you're using um, lemon juice and lime juice, which is irritant and irritant, like I mentioned to the eye, but also to your skin. So when you're done, it smells so good. Go ahead and wash your hands thoroughly so you don't have any of that left on your skin. Um, and that's it for today's project. It was really easy, right? I love this. It smells good. It's fun. Kids love it. This is a good one for 
different age groups. And if you want, if you were still looking for a science fair project, this would be a fun one to do if you really took all the different uh, citrus fruits you could find. And you could try other things. Tomatoes are an acidic vegetable. Maybe there's some, or fruit, sorry. <laughs> there's some other uh, fruits and vegetables you could experiment with and see if they might have a reaction. But generally, I, I am confident that the citric, re citric acid and baking soda reaction works, but it would be cool to experiment with other things and see if they also had some type of reaction. Again, only if you have extras to spare. Um, we don't wanna necessarily waste food for um, our science projects, but if you do have extras to spare, this would be a fun way to try and experiment and learn. All right, you guys, that's it for today. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go ahead and enter that giveaway. I will throw a link in the description below so that you can do that. And I'll be back tomorrow at 1.30 with another demo. Bye, guys.